Okay, here I have a slot, a pipe slot that uh, I will show you how the machine does. Uh, first, I will use analysis tool. Just do an analysis, and I can see that um, this is zero. And this is ninety degree. Right, so I think this is a straight uh, slot, but we have some changes here, and so for this, um, then we go to change to this one, and we can see this is zero. Uh, over here will be 90. Okay, so uh, the surface at, at the middle is actually a uh, transition transition phase. So this is what I will do. Uh, I will go and do a intermediate curve between these two. Right, we're going to use this curve to guide our two path and also this this one and this one right for this uh, although the two will stop right here but we need to extend it so that uh, we, we can use this uh, it will cut until this face normal right so for this case, I will just do a make a line from middle to this point here. Just make a line, okay? And after that, uh, I'll make a composite curve and select this one, and one by one to this one and to this one delete original so this curve will help us to guide the tool right and I will sl um, split this face here later you will see why so make me uh, split the face first here uh, sections and split again uh, just make a small face here we'll do okay yeah right. like that okay so next is to go for the uh, machine let's go to cam mode and yep, uh, just create the two path axis uh, with model UCS is okay. So I'm gonna create a title, uh, diameter 10. Why? Because uh, you can see here, I measure this one, the curvature is five, right? So let's create the five. And me, eh. M10 10 diameter 15 is okay. Mm, this okay. So I'm gonna use this cutter to cut this slot, and I will use a uh, production X production strategy, and let's uh, make sure you select the M10 and go to select the SS. And we are going to use a projector uh, option here. So the drive face, I will select this one, this one, and this one as my drive face. And I want the two axes to be normal to this drive face. Right. And the projections, the curve will be the composite curve that we, we created just now, that I created. Yeah, This one. Done. And 
the two axes, I will choose uh, normal the surface, right? And have the link, the retract, I will change it to automatic. Uh, entry 2M, exit 2M is enough for me. And what else? Uh, no lead in, no lead out. Yeah, that's it. Then just OK and calculate. Right. So now I have the two path ready. Start from here. Right. Start from here. And move to here, and then a five axis transitions. And then look why this cutter move here because my my lines is longer, it will reach here. So, how to prevent the cutter to overcut this face here? We're going to use the bell check. Go to use a uh, SS, click bell check, and select here. Uh, two, two tip will be okay. good. Only this, and I just do trim and relink. Uh, yeah, trim and relink uh, to path. So, cancel drive surface, select check surface. And I'm gonna select the mini surface that I I split just now. To tell much on the stop when the two touch the surface. And let's do a calculations. And now the two has stopped. Right. So uh, I think this profile is okay, but if you check closely over here, the cutter actually uh, overcutting the transition phase. Okay, I think this is the modeling error. It's the way that you draw this uh, surface, it has some error. Okay, this is modeling error. So for me, uh, this two path is okay. What if you don't want to uh, overcut the bottom face at all, right? If you cannot accept it, so you can always go and add in a uh, double check here, double check here, and uh, click retract along two axes and. Uh, we're going to go check the dry face, right? Dry face. And then click OK. It will move up all the area that uh, you have some uh, gouging. Right? Now, the two part is not uh, gouging not gouging the gray surface but it will not touch the brown face and also the, the upper color face here okay so it's up to you whether you want to uh, move the two up or not okay for me i think for this we for the transitions phase I think we no need to uh, retract the two because I think that surface is a transition, uh, is a surface modeling error. So I will cancel this. Right, 
so it should be like this let's do a simulations and make it faster here So once the uh, bottom two pump is okay, you can always offset the two pump uh, so that uh, we can cut this this slot with some down step. So you can go to um, graphing and uh, go to set the depth of cut and I maybe mean, within 10, 10 pass and one mm each. Then um, click OK. And then OK and OK. So this will be the result. Ah. Let's delete this. Navigate. So it moved by always one directions. Now it's cutting one directions. Right. But if you want uh, the slot to cut with a zigzag, so how to solve this? Uh, you just go back to the SS, go to roughing and go to the sorting option here uh, just change to connect slice by shortest distance shortest distance and click ok and calculate and now you have a zigzag pass So now this two here, cut the slot with a downside one mm. Right, that's how uh, I program this slot here. So if you need the the files for the reference, please go to the uh, YouTube comment below to get the link to the files.